Is your MSI center just stuck here loading infinitely on the user scenario page? Because uh, mine has been. In fact, I fixed this once and then it updated, broke again. You'll realize version 2.0.36.0. This can happen depending on the version. So right now I'm on 2.36, we'll call it. So what you're gonna have to do is um, search MSI center versions. Scroll down and you'll find this one by up to down. This is the right one. And it looks something like this. And you realize all these versions down here. So now this is the one we're on. So you're gonna have to go down a version on one of these. So we can just use like 2.0.35. And then just click down. Once it finishes, it'll bring you to a site. See now this isn't working for me. So let me show you something. So this is a weird bug I get and it won't load the page. If you're having an issue, then continue watching. But if you don't have this issue and it continues, then go to the timestamp on the screen. One issue can be your uh, VPN. So make sure you turn off your VPN. Another thing, I turn off the web protection and all of these. Now, go to download it again. For some reason, it's like really bad at trying to download. Like, it just doesn't work for me, and I don't know why. Okay, there we go. Just in case I turned web protection back on, and that actually sent it here. So it's really buggy, I don't know why, but once it's installed, you can uh, just turn these back on, and your VPN back on. So now all you're gonna do, is come down here, and close it. Head to your window settings, and go to apps, install the apps, and wait for this to load. Now type MSI, and delete MSI Center SDK. Now make sure you do this, and it might take a little bit. Once you get this, you can click OK and just delete MSI Center. Now normally you want to restart your computer next, but I'm not going to because I don't know if it will work the same. Simply head to your downloads, and there's the MSI Center that we downloaded. Now you'll get this, and I'll say which version, just install it. When it's downloading by the way, you can see the version right here. Also my fans just turned off, so that's a good sign that it's done. Mm -hmm. We had the usage scenarios. I would recommend going to usage scenarios and getting um like the system diagnostics and the Wi-Fi analysis. So I'll add to your features, click features and user scenario. And there we go. Now I use extreme performance and I set the cooler booster on and set these a little high, save it. And then for user, I'm gonna set my advanced on. I set my fans around 40-ish, something like that and save. So I keep it like this and anytime I'm playing any high running game, just use extreme performance. Let's keep that installed just in case. 